Welcome to this week's edition of the Rhodes Athletics Weekly Update, brought to you by Rhodes College Athletics and the Rhodes Sports Information Department. Now, here are your anchors, Jeff Livesey and Ryan Van Hook. Welcome back, ladies and gents. Rhodes had an exciting homecoming weekend. How'd the football team do? Rhodes football took on Swanee in the Orgel Trophy game on Saturday. Blake Box threw for 206 yards and three scores, and Rod Shirell chipped in 110 yards on the ground. Defensively, the Lynx were led by Spencer Smith, whose 11 tackles, 3 sacks, and forced fumble helped the Lynx hold on to a 40-22 win. Smith's play earned him National Team of the Week honors from Division3Football.com. Men's soccer took on conference heavyweight Birmingham Southern on Saturday, keeping the score deadlocked at 0-0 through 109 minutes of action. In the game's final minute, Lynx senior Andrew Roscosey Walton earned a penalty kick and he did not disappoint sending it past the Panthers goalie for the game-winning goal. Wow, what a shot. Look at the passion on those kids. Riley Sheen turned away eight shots, handing the Panthers their first SAA loss of the year. Swanee comes to town on October 17th at 4 p.m. for the Lynx next game. The Lady Lynx soccer team also scored off with Birmingham Southern, and the result was a little less stressful. Goals by Angie Herlow, Emma Selner, Nicolette Glidden, and Kelsey Sweeney spurred the Lynx to a 4-2 win as the Lynx outshot the Panthers 22-8. The Lynx moved to 1-0-1 in conference, and Friday's home match at 4 p.m. against Swanee looms. How did the volleyball team do this weekend, Jeff? The Lynx volleyball team grabbed a set off conference leading Birmingham Southern this weekend before falling 3-1. Freshman Alicia Williams continued her solid freshman season with 10 kills, and Catherine Grimes added 8 kills of her own. The Lynx next play at Barry College on Saturday. I heard the field hockey team had an early scare against Swanee. How did it turn out? Well, Ryan, the Lynx field hockey team fell behind early in the second half, 1-0, before roaring back with five unanswered goals to beat the arch-rival Tigers. Mary Rose Hazel, Maddie Smith, and Julie Hertzman all scored a goal apiece, while Shawnee Cohen put two in the back of the cage, thereby earning herself SA Player of the Week honors. Field hockey will be back in action Wednesday afternoon against Roanoke College at 4 p.m. And that's it for this week's edition. I'm Jeff Lipsy. And I'm Ryan Van Hook. Adios, Lynx Gatos, and we'll see you next week.